this thing on? Ooh, oh, I think so. Uh, hello, how the fuck are you? Uh, welcome to the Joey of Cooking. It's a special, um, here, look. You can read yourself backwards if you like. I'm not really sure why that's doing that. Or it's right side up. Anyways, hi. It's been a really long time. Um, today, I'm gonna take a minute and show y'all how to make a um, kinda KFC original recipe clone rotisserie chicken rub. So, um, so when you're dealing with spices and herbs and such, you, your favorite tools are tablespoon, teaspoon, tablespoon, teaspoon. They're friends, but one's really bossy to the other one. Like, hey, I'm gonna push you around and teaspoon's like, no thanks, I like small doses of things. So, here we go. So I'll show you the chicken. I'm gonna get it out of the fridge and you can look at it. Man, you know, it just makes you feel so naked if you're the, the chicken. Wow, this is fucking hard. Hey, look, it's chicken. You, you get the idea. Um, so, so that chicken there, I'm gonna smear some olive oil all over it and kind of, you, know, you know, nudge it on in there, get all the nooks and crannies and such. And then I'm going to apply um, a yeah, generous coating of this uh, this rub I'm about to make. So um, I got all my spices here. I got salt. Uh, uh, this is called pepper. Um, fresh ground about uh, probably five years ago. Um, we got garlic powder. Ground mustard. Uh, Celery frakes. Here's uh, some oregano leaves. I'm gonna grind some rosemary. Uh, some basil. And some thyme. I've also got some thyme here. Hey, yo. Ginger. White pepper. And the most important ingredient, aside from the chicken, is paprika, uh, often from Hungary. And speaking of, I'm hungry right now, so uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab what we call a container. Um, this this is a uh, a mini pitcher thing, and it contains stuff. Hence the name container. So I'm gonna start by adding that paprika since it's most important, and. I'm just gonna eyeball fucking everything. Um, so I saw the size of the chicken. I kind of have an idea of how much things. And then I got my guide friends that I may use or may not, or I can just like you know, drum on this glass countertop, which is a great idea. All right, so here we go. Paprika. And it's hard to measure, but you're gonna to wanna to add what's called a metric shit ton. And uh, this should be about good right there. So metric shit ton. Salt would be the next integral component. And I'm using iodized salt because iodine helps keep away goiter. As I may have uh, mentioned in previous episodes, it is a thyroid condition in which you're, you get a fat neck. And it was deemed so unsightly in the uh, early 1900s that we've added it to our salt. So I'm just adding little mounds of it until I feel like it's about the right amount. And I'm gonna stop now. So then uh, black pepper, I'm gonna open the, there's a key here, there's a, this one you're supposed to use a spoon. This one is the one that sprinkles out. And then this one, you need like a hockey rink. So I'm gonna do the hockey rink one because it is Stanley Cup playoff season. And uh, about a quarter metric shit ton. And uh, white pepper, same thing. Now, I'm not really sure of the difference between black pepper and white pepper, but 
I mean, <laughs> who does know? I know, you know, right? It's almost the same name, except the difference is the... One's black and one's white. Oh, polarity. Well, it's such a great thing to point out in today's society. Um, so then, it's herb time. Well, okay, now it's herb time. <laughs> so, essentially what you do is you take just about every herb and seasoning that you have in the, uh, in the, in this case, cabinet, perhaps on the spice rack, and you add it. And then you add some mustard. Again, it's got the key here, but this one's more of a, like kind of a racing oval, like a, like a NASCAR type thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna NASCAR it up. I'm hungry. That one fucking sucks. Oh my God. This is gonna make a mess. My mom's gonna be so mad. I'm at my parents' house, if you're curious. What's this kitchen? And I was gonna say, like, new kitchen, new rules. But like, would then be like, no, new kitchen, no rules. But there's a ton of rules. My mom's super, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anal retentive would be a light way of putting it. I'm gonna add some of this ginger. Uh, so I'm visiting Florida right now. It's a, a lovely place. Um, considered the last great frontier of the Pacific Northwest. You may have read all about it in uh, your geometry classes. Fascinating place. It was actually discovered by the rapper Flo Rida, hence the name. If you recall, he had a hit. I want to say it's that Apple Bottom Jeans song, but that's not fucking right. Uh, oregano. Yep, yep. Uh, garlic powder. Oh my gosh. Look at this fucking mess. And I'm going to add this rosemary. Rosemary. Oh, heaven restores you in light. Coming with me. Through the something, the fearing, the strife. It's the smiling on the package, it's the basic in the sand. It's a inner pole for you. Anyways, so I got all this stuff. I'm gonna take my little teaspoon guy, just cause he's here. And I'm gonna skew, stir, 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 stir. And once it reaches a le level of, uh, of entropy, that is where everything is in a, a homeostasis, where everything is as far away from each other as possible, cause that's, um, what most matter, um, at least in space, um, desires. So, I'm already here. It smells fucking awesome. It smells like, like KFC minus all the oil floating in the air and then, like, the depression and, like, uh, the weight gain. But, um, so this will be cool. I just wanted to do a little, um, uh, little teaser for what's to come. I'm gonna do some more of these things. So, uh, again, Joy of Cooking, Season 2, coming to... Televisions all over the state of Ohio.